Hey guys, this is Charles Jaeger with premiumbeat.com. In this tutorial, we're gonna look at some creative photo and video ideas for fireworks. There's quite a few different photo and video creative ideas you can do using fireworks. I know that I've often resorted to some of these for various videos that I've worked on. Everything from backgrounds to atmospheres or even sound design and sound effects. Obviously, one thing I definitely wanna mention up front is gonna be safety. Make sure you do everything here presented in this video at your own risk and I highly recommend working with somebody else that way you can have one person manage the fireworks and another person manage the camera. Also depending on what state you're from may determine what fireworks you have access to. There's a lot of different use cases in this tutorial so hopefully you can at least execute a few of these tutorial ideas. And clearly I need to mention make sure you check your local laws and ordinances before you fire off any fireworks at your location. Alright so the first use case that I've done frequently is kind of creating these bokeh like backgrounds from fireworks, usually from a smaller little fountain firework. These usually cost around a dollar to maybe five dollars. You'll want to do this at a rural location where there's nothing in the background, it's just completely black. But then you can film the firework out of focus and get some really cool looking bokeh. And what I like is kind of the dynamic movement you can get from this, it's very organic. Obviously you could create something like this in post using a plugin like Trap Code Particular, but filming an actual firework and actual flaming element is going to be a lot more natural and again giving you that organic movement. I definitely recommend using a telephoto zoom lens. That way you can zoom in close on the firework effect and still have a nice distance between yourself and the firework. Something else I recommend doing is maybe filming this at a higher frame rate, either 60 or if your camera can at like 120 or 180 frames per second. And if you're in a firework stand and you're looking at fireworks and you don't really know which ones are the fountains, just look on the warning label and it'll typically say emits showers of sparks. That's a good indicator that, that is a fountain type firework. All right, so the next thing kind of along those lines you can create is some cool kind of smoke backgrounds or smoke atmospheres. And again, these are very cheap fireworks. This is like a tube smoke firework. It costs around 75 cents to $1.50. And these will usually emit a thick, heavy fog of smoke for about a minute to a minute and 30 seconds. Now I do want to draw the comparison with these between kind of the other smoke sticks you might see that are flameless. These actually are being lit, so you don't want to walk around and carry these. That can be quite dangerous. And obviously you don't like this indoors or even in an enclosed area because it is going to create a very thick smoke and I definitely don't recommend breathing that. But if you did want to put a couple of these maybe in the distance behind a model, that could be pretty cool or set one off at a location let the smoke kind of linger for a minute or two just to give you a little more atmosphere. The next creative use I definitely want to mention is just going to be using long exposures, whether you're taking photos of fountains or more bursting mortar fireworks. These will often give you a lot of streaks and make the firework look a lot bigger and more grand. You'll want to make sure your camera is mounted on a tripod, that way everything in the background still looks clear, but the firework has that kind of movement to it. Since we're on the topic of long exposure, I definitely have to mention sparklers. You'll often see photos of models holding these, or maybe even writing out something using the sparkler. And again, these type of effects are done with longer exposures. And depending on what you're taking your photo of will depend on kind of the length of exposure you want to use. Here's a shot I did of a Jeep where I walked around it with a sparkler. These shots here were around 15 to 20 seconds a piece. I do want to mention that the sparkler type is important. The two most popular types are going to be kind of the wood stick ones. They're usually pink and they have a lot of colors and they're usually wrapped in paper. And the alternative is going to be the metal sparklers. Now you can use either or for your long exposures, but I do want to say that the metal ones will typically give you a more consistent kind of spark that's very similar throughout the entire duration. Finally, I want to mention that fireworks can be a great resource for creating sound effects or ambient sound design. These sounds can then be used in a lot of other creative ways. For instance, one obvious thing you could create would be kind of a wartime atmosphere with all the snapping and popping you get with various fireworks. You can also get some really nice bassy sounds from some of the more mortar-like fireworks. Another alternative use you could use this for is for reference sounds. Let's say you're at a location and you're actually kind of filming a shootout. You're going to do all the kind of gun sound effects in post. And again, you might want to apply a location accurate echo to all those sound effects. That would give you a reference that you can then replicate in post with all the other shootout sound effects. All right guys, hopefully this tutorial will give you a few firework ideas. Again, make sure you're safe if you are gonna try any of these projects. And if you wanna check out some other creative video tutorials, make sure you visit the Premium Beat blog where they frequently post a lot of original creative tutorials just like this one. All right guys, it's been Charles Jager with premiumbeat.com. Thanks for watching.